All right, people, I think the time has come. I'm ready to play Fall of Rome. And of course, it wouldn't be appropriate to play Fall of Rome unless you're playing actually as Rome. So we're going to see whether I fall or not. So I did a poll whether people wanted me to play as Western Rome or Eastern Rome, and people chose Western Rome by a decent margin. So we're going to be playing as Western Rome. And I think Demigod is the correct difficulty for this. So let's have a look at what they give us. So this is kind of hidden, but I want you guys to notice how much our government really frickin' sucks. And I guess that's appropriate for the Romans. It's trying to mirror the, the corruption and the, the problems that, in, internal problems that Rome was having. So we have absolutely bad unit support. Uh, we have to pay citizens as our hurry production method, which would be good, but our, we have no money and our civilization is super corrupt, right? So you'd be much better off just slaving out of that, those crappy cities. I can draft raids and oh zero military police oh that's bad, yeah the barbarian player in this gets a, a much 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 better uh, go at things given their government. Uh, but we do have do we start with any wonders or anything? Oh, they get the great lighthouse. Oh maybe I... <laughs> it's okay we can work with this. Uh, they also have more luxuries I've noticed. Uh, in the future we can maybe trade Eastern Rome for dyes, but. Not anytime soon. Uh, we're probably, yeah, you'll see we're broke from the start. Uh, we have unit support costs. We don't actually have that many maintenance, which is bad, I guess, because I'd probably like to sell some of these uh, buildings, like this harbor, for example, here. Yeah, we can. That's fine. Actually, that one we probably could have kept. This one is useless since the wheat just gives us the... Uh, Wait, I gotta make sure. I, yeah, I don't want to give myself no harbors on the con. <laughs> yeah, but like things like that, we can get rid of. Uh, just like save a little bit of money, and eventually we can go sack the barbarian camps, but not anytime soon. Oh, we actually can go over these roads without taking penalty. I guess we have the equivalent of engineering. But yeah. Uh, what's the carrying capacity of galleys? It's two. Eh, it's better than what they have, the barbarians. So let's... Uh, I've realized that the best thing to do, I think, is to rush the Celts. Uh, and then if you can clear off Britain, you can pretty much withdraw entirely from Britain. And then you, could, you only need to guard using these bad boys, Dramans, which are actually... Anyone can build them, I checked. And they're just good to have. So that would keep anyone else off of the main island of Great Britain. So I'll bring him here, and yeah. So how many legions do we have? We have three legions. Uh, I left. I left this up, just so we can check. I don't think they don't get any bonus starting units. Uh, even though it's a high difficulty level, because it's a conquest, they don't get like the starting settlers and the workers and all the offensive units. So they have two raiders. And the Raiders have two attack, one defense. So I think we can actually take them with these 4-4 four, four legions. Uh, as long as we don't cross the river. Yeah, I like how you just have random units on random forts in the <laughs> middle of England. Or not the middle of England, the the ass. And like the, if you, you know how people say that England looks like a a man riding a a pig it would be the butt of the pig is the area where we have random random uh units stationed so here i mean we might run into barbarians later but i think in the short term we yeah we will pull out the legions but keep the the pikemen and i'll go again to a more general strategy in a bit i think we need to do like wealth in cities like this uh, worker's not going to do much good. Like, it'll take forever to get us roaded to, to Pasa. And then you pay, like, one gold per turn maintenance on those workers. So It's kind of crazy. Uh, you have to play very particularly if you're playing this scenario. Not that I know. I, like, I, I haven't played this as Rome before, or at least within the last five years. So <laughs> I'm kind of going into this blind, but we'll see how it turns out. I have seen the map, and I think I roughly know what to expect. I think the trick is, like, you do start in a, a locked alliance with the Byzantines. So that's, like, a point of strength that you can always rely on having them to be, to have your back. 
uh, but you start, but all the other barbarian factions can fight amongst each other. So I think if you manipulated diplomacy, I mean, let's see. Do we have contact with? Oh, okay, yeah. We can just emb yeah, we could just embassy them in military alliance whenever we wanted to. So I think that's a, a nice perk. Oh, there are these victory point locations. Uh, I guess we'll. Are we just kind of fortifying here? I think the way I saw it is you could probably lose these two cities definitely, and then these this ring over here, and then as long as you fortify this the, like cities on hills on the Alps, you'd be fine. And I think that's the m main advantage to Western Rome that you only really have to guard in like an arc across here. You don't have to guard these cities at all. Like, who the hell is going to come for these cities? Uh, the Persians are down here. The Huns are down here. Uh, but mostly, if you just... I think if you guard Britain and you guard this ring, then you'll be decently well off. So one thing that really sucks about the scenario is you corruption is ridiculously high, both distance and rank corruption. And then your cities are very sparsely placed. Most of the cities are in useless, corrupt places. I think if you like, oh, and your tiles are unimproved too, so we're going to need some workers. Uh, I think if you build up some cities here, not only will you have more unit support, uh, but you'll actually have like a good productive core. So yeah, we'll keep them here to get the victory points. Um, I guess that's the fastest way. I don't know how much we're going to need over here, but we'll pretend it's a lot. Uh, I do think we can disband some of these galleys. Like, how many galleys do we need? Uh, oh, we actually need to bring him here. So what we're going to do is there is actually an ivory off screen here, and you can see how badly we're hurting for freaking happiness in this scenario. Yeah, like, all of our goddamn cities have happiness problems. I wonder, this might even be worth it. Because we can trade away comms. Uh, if we do, like, what would it be? That's not bad. Uh, I'll see what we can get from... Maybe we can trade techs. Oh, we absolutely can trade techs. Holy shit. Okay, what's a useless tech for us to give them? Uh, masonry eventually leads to... Uh, but this is unique to us. I think most of this stuff is useless to them. Yeah, I'll just give them... Oh, I think they, they will need iron. Yeah, I'll just give them masonry. I don't know if they can pass comms. Uh, it would be fantastic if we can get some workers off them. Because you don't pay maintenance on those workers, and we do need workers. Yeah. Uh, it would be Ew. I want that worker though <laughs> okay whatever polytheism is that an important one oh it is literally useless um <laughs> okay Sorry, I, I go from thing to thing. I'm a little distracted, but I think we're getting into the right place. So what do we want to... Is this... It doesn't give a free tech, I don't think. We don't need Draman anytime soon. I guess I'd like the option to be building heavy cavalry. I've realized that I think if you do Justinian's leadership, and if you do one of these two, I'm, we're a militaristic and religious civ, so that would give us a golden age. I, I can't think of any reason it wouldn't. Like, I don't think it's possible to program... A lack of golden ages in uh sorry in the scenario editor and the legion doesn't give you a golden age but i think if you do the two wonders because the wonders trigger golden ages then it should work so we'll do this i guess at hmm okay uh the bad news is painfully slow the good news is uh I think, yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, we need gold for other things at the moment. Uh, I guess I should probably explore and get contact with the 
the Germans. Yeah, as we're... What? This is a dead-end road? the heck? <laughs> Damn. Okay, we don't get military police here, so we might as well send all of these units to the front. Or at least to be guarding the cities that have victory points. Any in Spain? Uh, just Carthago Nova. So you can go to Lugdunum. Uh, so we had a legion here. Oh, we'll disband that. Can we just go on C? I guess we can. Anyway, uh, was there any last bit of diplomacy I needed to do? No, okay. I'll do a little bit more worker, worker. Oh, of course, yeah, there's one big thing I needed to do, which is grab these dies. Oh, the world map actually helped, helped me a lot there. Sweet. Okay, so that should help a lot with happiness. Yeah. I uh, do think we need the production. <sighs> I guess we'll take the, the beakers. We're going to need this tech eventually, I think. Ah, uh, why would you ever build this? This, if we get a military later, that'd be fantastic, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Okay, I think we're ready to start passing these turns away. Oh, uh, I could, like, rush a legion. Can I even... Why can't I... Oh my god, I don't even have a port. <laughs> uh, I don't even think the coast is clear, even if I did have a port. Oh, uh, no, it seems mostly clear. So you have to have, like, an uninterrupted path of vision. Um, so this would go all the way down and connect to Carthage and Neapolis. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, so this literally is my only port left, so don't sell that. Uh, I might... Oh, I, I think I'm actually connected over land. <laughs> so I probably could sell it. Uh, but... Mm, oh, yeah, as long... I could sell one of either Carthage or Neapolis. Anyway, uh... Yeah, the coast is clear. So yeah, um, I could... Archers are... Ch I don't think I have any money for anything more than an archer, so... Oh, what happened here? Okay, I do need 10% happiness. Let's see, am I using any entertainers that I don't need to be using? Oh, oh no, okay. I thought we got the bonus commerce. We got, like, Republic's bonus commerce, but no, we do not have that. That's too bad. So this city randomly has a, a barracks, so... Did he just, like, buy? Where did that spearman come from? Oh my god. Okay, uh, maybe we will need. Yeah, is this guy? This better not be another dead end road. Okay, no, this leads somewhere. Uh, we can. We have these legions that can clear out those barbs. That's good. I'll go grab the the victory points. And okay, this one's going to Carthage, and this is getting disbanded. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, they're actually beelined for us. Uh, go to Neapolis, I guess. Okay. 
Yeah, you can just go straight across the ocean. Apparently that's how things work. And next turn we'll be ready to do our double move. Uh, are these both on hills? Or one of them is on a hill? They're both on hills. Fantastic. Okay, he's exploring with his warriors at least. Ah, uh, no, that's got to be worth something. No, oh my god. Yeah, well... We don't do reloads in this. I'm not one of those players, don't worry. Okay. I think we can actually get here and yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Oh, these guys actually have two attack. Uh, what's the bar Barbarian, Barbarian bonus is actually not great on the current difficulty. So I'm going to have to pull this out. Or we might get sacked. We have legions, though. Ooh, thank God for the legions. Yeah, you pretty much just get the legions that you have at the start of the game. <laughs> That's what you have to work with. Uh, we have, oh, you get 10. <laughs> Eventually we're going to be able to build more in Rome. Uh, but if we, the way I figure is if we build them now, they're going to be so far out that they're not really going to do much. So better just to like buy them and. Oh my. So the city's coastal, but the coast isn't cleared. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, whatever. It's not going to be done anytime soon. We have more enough time to swing this around. I'll take him with us, too. Oh, actually, now that I think of it, he can, like, boat us with Karaks. Oh, we got these guys coming in, though. Sweet. And more in free mirror enforcements from the mainland. That's good. Okay. So this is what we get. I think, yeah, they have forced labor as their government hurry production type. So I, I really can't see. Okay, we lost one. He'll attack again and he'll probably lose. Is there a courthouse in Carthage? Yeah, okay. It's worth improving these tiles then, I figure. So what's another good city? Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, there's so many great city spots that just aren't taken at the start of the game. Okay, and we are... Damn, does he start with barracks in those cities or something? He must. They're an interesting faction. They're they're playable from like from the get-go too. Uh but they're the only civ that starts with actual cities. Oh yeah, they get Ah, oh, they're size they start size 2. So we just slaved at the start. Ah, here you see this. Okay, good thing we Brought these bad boys out to protect us. I don't think he can do shit against legions, so I'll just take this home to his family uh, to get the victory points. So what should we go for first? And let's try this. Oh, that's rough. How does he... Oh my fucking god. Yeah, those legions are just gone. That was going to be a rough one, guys. That was a really bad RNG for us. And I guess it's... Yeah, it's only... I know, I should have been able to kill two spearmen. Uh, the individual results were not that bad, but chained together is... Oh my god. 
I'm going to wait before disbanding him. Uh, where is this ivory actually positioned? Okay, below the horses. Uh, I think I go down the hill. Okay, so do I have any barrackses out here? No, I have no barrackses. I have a barracks on the island, but I don't have any iron on the island. Do Is there... Okay, that's actually not that bad. I just... Okay. And then I can just pour money into buying legions. I think that's... <laughs> Definitely the Roman thing to do. Maybe not the sensible thing to do. <laughs> Maybe I'd have... Okay. Visigoths. Hello. No return gold, but 50 gold and contact with the Ostrogoths is fantastic. Does he have contact with the Huns? Uh, no, but he might have furs somewhere down the line. Or some... Oh, yeah, I think there was also furs on the map. Here, okay. Uh, was there anything else? Yeah, I checked this. It's pretty bleak in terms of luxuries for Western Rome. Eastern Rome's a bit better off, but not that much better. Yeah, okay, so I, I will need the... I'll need the harbor eventually. Come on, Legion. Oh yeah, he's still alive, nice. Ooh, but the raiders are coming for him. Hmm. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, this is pretty good. That is good gold. Uh, this city's garbage. I'll work on making Neapolis not so garbage. I think I want one here and here. Oh, God. I need to look before I click. Where are the Germans when you need them? Okay, I guess we can also... We'll call up the Franks. Maybe they, uh... Okay, yeah, of course they do. Yeah, we, we just got a lot of gold. And this guy can go meet the Visigoths. The Huns will turn up eventually. Uh, I think we... Oh, we can just send this guy around here and that city's fine. Uh, do we attack or do we pull out? I think if we pull out, he'll eventually send his units at us, which is pretty much suicide for him. Uh, God. What was that? Like, what? which unit was that and where did it go? <laughs> I think it was this one. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's check the... And... Oh, that, that's the one. That's the one. Okay. So, we'll do a quick unload here. Ugh. I forgot that they did that. <laughs> really makes you feel like a Roman. Oh, we have war wariness. Crap. Oh, no, it's my city just grew. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me we don't have war wariness. 
I guess it would be appropriate, but it would be inconvenient, which is why I'd, I'd really prefer uh, high war. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, but we don't have it yet. Okay, so that changes things considerably, I think. Um, oh my god, it's elite. Uh, maybe I can look at the victories condition screen and make myself feel better. Uh, I think it's F, F something. Okay, I I'm going to call this a win if the Eastern Romans win too. <laughs> I think it's like joint victory, right? Wow, okay. These guys actually have health. They're chonky. I still took them out, though. Maybe I should just play this completely peacefully. I could probably just wall off here, and it'd be... There's no way I'm going to get Ireland, right? Not anytime soon. Not with what I have. Uh, so if I just made peace... Oh, nice. Okay, I survived. And I got an elite out of it, so. Good for me. Okay, let's have... This is a border city, so let's have something there. At least pretend to have something, I like to say. <laughs> nice. I mean, while we're still at war, we might as well rush out some legionnaires. Oh, here's our buddies. The Poles. I mean, the Vandals. Sorry, they're the same color as Poland from the uh, Middle Ages scenario, so. You can see how I might get confused. Aha. Oh, do I just straight up don't have horses. Okay, there's plenty of horses. I just don't have them hooked. Uh, there might even be some within... Yeah, there's some right here. I'm actually... Like, I complained about the finances at the start of this, but I'm actually not minding the financial situation so much. Although, has my... Total income gone down. I think I was at plus 40 at the start there. Ah, I haven't built that many units. Who knows? Uh, okay, she's got con with the Sassanids. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Eastern Rome. You got this big, massive threat from the get-go right on your border. Oh, okay. They actually have money. And luxuries somewhere down the line? That seems like a problem. <laughs> we'll give him imperialism. That seems like a problem for Eastern Rome to deal with. <laughs> him having an extra tech. I know they love the government tech, so they'd go for this, but this is a garbage, obviously a garbage government. Yeah, I'm not going to... Because this is eight city elimination, right? You lose eight cities, you die. Uh, so I'm not going to 
build any more cities. In fact, I, I think I need to make peace because eventually I'm going to be working war uh, alliances. Like, I'm going to constantly have a war alliance with the French against somebody. Uh, and so I need to let my war awareness score tick down. Uh, he's sending these guys around the corner there. I think... Yeah, these guys will get wrecked by Dramans, and they uh, only have one transport capacity. So, do they even get wrecked by... No, these are 111s. One, one, these are 013s, though, so... Well, I did my job. Oh, why does that number? Oh, hold up. Why did that number go up so much? Oh, because I get three commerce from the silver. Yeah, and then plus one because I'm not, my settler isn't giving unit expenses anymore and plus one because Kume gives one free unit support. I'll take him home. So you don't pay maintenance on walls, thank God. So Oh my god, Londonium. Okay, there we go. Coast is clear. Walls are pretty cheap, at least. I'll say that about them. Okay, you can start building units. Yeah, the production is actually pretty decent here. Uh, we can't get growth next turn, though, so let's grab that. Mm. That's pretty good. And Carthage. Yeah, you only get one worker. Any more than that is a luxury we cannot afford. So yeah, you're going here. Uh, city's not that good. I'm wondering if there's like a between city or should we just grow these cities very big? This one's on a river. This is on a river. This is on a river. Yeah. So the cities that can access the best tiles are on the river. Uh, this one's also on a river. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We will need some workers, but... Uh... Yeah, we'll do this. Get these two tiles. I guess if we don't, yeah, if we don't plant these cities, they will. So actually, yeah, I better start planting like here, for example. And is there, I don't think there's, there can't be cultural conversions in this. Oh, there's actually cultural conversions in this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the kind of bullshit I'm talking about. Uh, cutting off my roads. Damn, okay, we definitely need to secure this. How are you coming along here, worker? Wait, are Ivory even a, a luxury in this? 
In Rise of Rome, they're not. They're a strategic resource. Yeah, okay, they are. So that will give us a massive boost for our empire. But yeah, I actually do need to keep on building settlers. And microing for growth. Get your shit together, Rome. Ooh, one raider. Yeah, I can make peace when I want to. Can even grab a worker. Hmm. But I mean, if, if I can knock him, yeah, if I'm ever at risk, I, I will. Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, there's the plague in this. Okay, well, take the guys into the city. Look at this vase, like a city that I built recently, and it's already doing good. And we have horses. Huh, we're not painfully far from military training. Uh, I think we cap Dalarea. I don't know if we want that, though. I definitely don't want to attack into the city with the fucking elite, even though it's pretty much a 50-50. Yeah, it's not across a river or anything. Oh, my God, Teva. I feel like we've done this before. Oh, you need a, a garrison. <laughs> I like how it like mimics the the creeping feeling of uh, barbarians entering your land. Yeah. Are horsemen any good in this? No, they're trash. Ah, here we are. Beautiful. I could have, I could have sent one like all the way out here to get some incense, I guess, but that seemed pushing it, to be pushing it. I'm happy with, with what I've done. Look, at least here we'll, we'll have the option. Oh, there's two of them now. Hmm. That's actually risky. Okay, well we we lived, but we were just bad RNG away from being down one city and uh, a key city too because it's got a victory point and then i mean we have to retake it right we can't just leave that celtic city existing okay we do have an elite one to work uh, got to work with let's do this okay we got two more veterans oh thank god the militaristic trade is really helping us out here Oh my god. Yes, okay, there it is. Um Okay, we don't want him replanting. Oh, but those cultural conversions turned on shit. And if you lose a city to cultural conversions, I do think that counts. Anyway, um that just did us a big favor. We get two happy faces here. I think we can even turn on the hap off the happiness slider. <laughs> for what it's worth, two gold per turn. Anyway. Okay, the good news is we're making good progress against the Celts. The bad news is it's going to be a while before we're... Yeah, we do have to get rid of this. Uh, otherwise, this is very liable to flip. And in fact, I might even buy a temple there just to stop it. Ooh, the nice thing is because we took the capital, we can actually heal where we are on the spot. Okay. 
Do we have a granary here? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, you don't keep city units in cities with the plague, if I remember correctly. Okay, we'll put this here. I think it's good to just put random units on the fucking roads just so, to block their movement. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough workers if... Well, that's random. We don't want to build too many workers because we are paying maintenance on them, even though they're improving the land. Uh, it's five of these guys. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. He, he he literally can't rush you, and it's there. It's not his capital, so at least it's one pop. What do I have to be afraid of? I say being very afraid. Yeah, this is just free unit support, pretty much. Uh, you don't have to guard those cities. And I don't think barbarians can spawn in this, and... Um, yeah, they're like a couple at the start of the game. Yeah. Okay, we haven't done any trading in a while. Let's, uh, let's see what, uh, is on the table. Aha. That's a good map too. And yeah. Germans are weak. And they still don't have a second fur. That's okay. Oh, this was actually supposed to go beeline for this over. Oh yeah, we just need a colony here. Let's let's do this right. Yeah, we'll bring in one more. Oh, granary. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't even think we want a barracks. This barracks has been a lifesaver, though. Okay. So we could wait one more turn. If he gets to size two, we'll... Uh... Oh, okay. That actually helped us. Because he pulled his units out. So, we'll... Goddamn. Nice. How many units you got in there, man? Yeah, okay. We'll do it like this. Nice. Okay. Sweet. And we'll clear this out of our land just because, yeah, we can. Yeah. So I, I was thinking a few things there. We always have the option of making peace uh, if we put ourselves in a position where we'd lose a city. I think that we actually like that worker better than the uh, the other one. Uh, although, let's, let's row the cow instead. <laughs> like it matters. Like we're ever going to get that fucking commerce. <laughs> Oh, the cow is actually faster, so... Mm, smart moves there, Suede. 
I should make my own YouTube channel. No garrisons. I actually do need a garrison here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not getting the victory point, so. Okay, right now there's no reason not to make peace with the Celts. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Yeah, I'll let my war awareness score tick down, uh, but I'll be on the lookout for crap like that. Oh my, yeah, they could just they could get tempted by the empty city and then just walk right in. Uh, and I'd have a turn to react at least, but it'd still be rough. Same thing with this. So I think library comes first. Okay, that's enough workers, I think. Nice, we finally have some legionnaires coming out. Okay, at least we can get that in. Must be, yeah, there's some barb camps. Uh, just the one, actually. Any in Spain? Nope. Spain is apparently pacified. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll leave you here. We do just have a bunch of legions that... I mean, it couldn't hurt to have some legions in Rome, but... Yeah, let's put a second one here. Or, sorry, some legions in Britain. Uh, so let's get this right here. Yeah, this would, like... It blocks a road, too. And it's on a hill, so defensible. Uh, we'll eventually want one here. Do I actually need a Roman garrison? We got the Legion coming. Let's do Settler instead. And... Uh, we'll do Settler. How's Eastern... Yeah, I guess... I do need to be careful with, because whenever I declare war, Eastern Rome declares war too. And if Eastern Rome dies, then I'm starting to be in a lot of trouble. Because Eastern Rome dies. I'm trying audibly not to react to that joke. Okay. We're good. We're, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Crap, okay, so it's been 20 turns, I guess, since we started based on the dies and based on the fact that I made a mistake and I built some frickin' you know, go suicide into that camp. Maybe we take the free gold, maybe not. The border expand there might actually be handy. Okay, so that's 35. Uh, I think we said we wanted this first. Yeah, that's going to take a while. She's not going to sell that to anyone else, is she? I don't think so. Um, this is actually cheaper. Yeah, this will replace the happiness we just lost. And it's cheaper, so I think that's what we should go for. I think I'll sell this, though. Yeah, you got to be really careful with the buildings you build. Like, we have so few financial resources. And we have to conserve what we do have. Okay, so there's a second class of city that got some disorder or something that will... Build, uh... Oh, a Roman garrison now, if we're not careful. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, maybe I can trade her military training for it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll do the full 360. I guess the main tech I care about them getting is the uh, the barbarian techs, and I don't have those. I can't trade them those to them, so I'm not too worried about all this. Sure, might as well make it nice and even. Who who is doing this? Who just, oh my god, <laughs> these AI, man. Oh, there's going to be a turn of mass disorder because I lost my luxuries, but I didn't replace them. Oh, that's just the one. Neat. Okay, uh, so you go here. Ah, uh, that city's past the line of... Uh, Utter crap from corruption. Nice. With this, we can actually also... Uh... Can send veteran dramas at these guys if they come for us later on, if that's a relevant thing. Okay, I think we're at the point where we can do military alliances too and keep the barbarians busy fighting with each other. Um, I think it's best to wait till they declare war on us, though. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's not like we're going to be railroading ever. <laughs> Ah, two shields per turn. Looks like you could benefit from a courthouse. Nice, we get him to the front. This is a relevant city that we have to defend. Yeah, I think we'll say that we, we can afford to lose these two. Do we have to do like some conquering or like do we lose on victory points if we don't do any conquering? Uh, I, I, like, I don't think it would be too hard. If we just mass legions, and then uh, what do they get? The best unit they get has three defense. Okay. Uh, and it's oh, it's actually. I think this is actually a worse unit than the legion. The legion is pretty good in this. Still, you can build roads and forts. It has zone of control, and it's fifty shields. Like compare this one's forty. Sh oh, okay. I think this one's better than this one to be honest. But no, this is half as good on defense, and then 50% uh, better on at attack. It's cheaper. Than, oh, so cheap. Yeah, okay. So anyway, we're about even with the barbs. Uh, this is also 70. It's 532. Zone of control also. Honestly, I take the zone of control and the plus one movement over... Uh, over the uh, extra offense. Because the barbarians aren't going to be defending with anything too scary. Oh man, if only I'd bought some cavalry here. I don't, I don't really care, but it would have been fun. Anyway, yeah, we don't really need any more cities or anything on the island, so I guess we'll just do walls. Should I actually disband a legion? I think so, yeah. Um, let's save a bunch of gold. Okay. Uh, the plague has ended. The plague has ended.
Good. How's Aquilia doing? Is it uh, also at her trash? Yeah, it's at her trash. We're working on it, though. I think we do just continuously need settlers. Like, it's, it's plus one gold per turn each settler. <laughs> yeah, that's demigod for you. Should be a barracks, if anything. How's the city's production? Oh, it's great. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, after this, we can start teching. So how's our unit support costs? Well, not bad, and we have, we're getting a lot more income. Oh, I just straight up have every building here. <laughs> we could even put cities on these islands. It's like a pain to administer, but worth oh okay actually one thing we do need to worry about is corruption like a uh, rank corruption specifically if we put a city here this is like what one two three this is six tiles away from our cap so it would make these cities and these cities more corrupt uh, so I think we actually don't want to do that let's have some fun let's do some RP We'll put the cities on the islands. We'll rebuild Sicily. <laughs> if we... <laughs> yeah, if someone starts attacking these cities with island, these island cities, we have bigger problems <laughs> than the fact that the cities are immediately under danger. Huh, we would just straight up have military training soon. Oh crap, this is actually going to be a race for these wonders against Eastern Rome. And I think I do need these wonders. <laughs> yeah, like if I, if I lose this one, it's just straight up I can't get a Golden Age. There's two of these at least, they're both religious. Is one of them Rel Mill or something? No, they're just regular Rel. Uh... I think the Byzantines actually start... Yeah, this actually counts. So they only need the the religious one, I think. I can't remember what their traits are exactly, but... Nice. Uh, is there anything else we can colonize here? Nope. Mm, let's do some chops, I guess. It'd be a pretty good city if we get the worker moves. Right here, it's beautiful. Now, does this map does this use the same map as Rise of Rome? It's certainly if, if this is a custom map for Fall of Rome, then this is very well thought out. Like right down to the river placements where you'll need them for your cities to grow to size seven. Like they really work so hard to fuck Rome over in this that I'm surprised that they, if it was its own map, I'd be surprised how favorable it is to Rome in some ways. Uh, let's get on here actually. I like they just, how they just pulled the freaking city names from the base game. Uh, so they actually... Are these Carthaginian city names? They're not ones that are already taken, right? So it can't be Carthage, but... Hippo... Eh. I guess the Vandals did eventually like conquer into North Africa, so it's not ridiculous. Yeah, Gordium is... Not especially historically accurate. These ones, they at least... Okay, thank God. <laughs> they don't have random Mongol city names here. Uh, and these are all custom named. 
because this if you guys don't know these the the ostrogoths here this is actually the polish leader head so there was a plan to oh sorry the Aust austro basically there's a plan to put austria in the in civ 3 conquest that got scrapped but the the files still exist Uh, so yeah, it, it's this guy, and in the Middle Ages, it's Poland, and it's Austro-Hungary in Napoleonic Europe, and it's France in uh, Age of Exploration, or Age of Discovery, or whatever it's called. Oh, that's fast. But no, more importantly, you know what it's time for. Time to get some of that Persian. Why? Oh, it was Delray. Okay, <laughs> I thought that was Deva because it, it zoomed. It centered on Devo because this is at the top of the screen. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, who are these guys? Sassanids. Uh, I guess they could beat me too. Oh my god. Uh, cuz they haven't unlocked anything that uses that, so it's worthless to them. I guess we're doing Justinian's leadership. Yay. We need to focus our worker moves then. The nerve of these cities. Uh, okay, if we just block these two tiles, we can prevent anyone from getting in, but I don't think that's going to be a problem for a while. And like all problems that I don't have to deal in the immediate future, I'm going to ignore it. Ooh, nice. I don't know what should we do. Heavy, heavy cavalry? That sounds pretty good. So Africa is technically on the same continent here because it's all connected by land. So if we get this, we'll get that barracks in Africa. Ah, crap. Ugh. Supposed to be focusing the worker moves. <laughs> ah. Ooh, Byzantium. Uh, it's got an odd way of cycling through the, the city. Oh, this is, yeah, we actually can sell this. Because this has no foreign tiles and no foreign citizens, so it cannot flip. Oh, d oh damn. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. How long does this last? When is this torture over? <laughs> Current turn, third now? That's not bad. What am I worried about making this city more corrupt? Fuck it. Uh, I'll put them down here. Oh, huh. Oh, huh. Okay, we're good. I, I made a sound like a duck there for a second, but it's it's all fine. Ha! <laughs> uh... The road to command. Okay. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, that would be an issue. This would be an issue if I, I lose Burgadilla. But that's not on my list of priorities right now. I'm actually prepared 
if they attack. I think I've conceded that I, I'm just okay with losing these cities. Oh, one turn. That's nice. Yeah, literally just wealth. Oh, at least it's a veteran Roman garrison. Okay. Yeah, if they if they start planting in here again, that will be a nuisance, so. Like, I want to take this, but if they plant here, it's whatever. It's, I still have to guard these cities, but if they plant here, it's like, oh, my God. They can attack from any angle. I think I'm going to... Oh, Assassinids. Nope, nope, nope. How much does this cost? Eh, only four gold. Probably make that back through the marketplace. Oh, there's a courthouse in fucking Rome. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't forgive myself for not catching that. I'm hoping that some of these cities will might maybe get to size... Yeah, this will actually eventually get to size 7 and give one additional unit support. Such a huge boost to my nation. <laughs> Don't know how I'd live without that. I'm going to get by somehow, though. Eventually, they're going to want to settle this by boat, I guess. Oh, okay. When the, the Irish settle this by boat, I can just kill them. Uh, it's not going to be fun because of the war weariness, but... Oh, that's a has. Uh, it's not a has. It's good I was sitting there, you know? Much better there than one... One to the south. Uh, yeah, I just need to build one additional road, basically. Until they expand their court and culture, at least. Jerusalem. Please tell me I got money from that. The Barbarian Camp. I'm entitled to its money. The city's garbage, at least. Yeah, he's got like a big production bonus because it's demigod. And he got to the tech first. But the city's garbage. And I don't know. If I'm lucky, he'll want to do one of the other wonders. I can also join one more... War oh, I'm not going to even need to. How dare they? I didn't realize how much specialists would be a crucial part of my economy in this scenario, but here we are. <laughs>
How many wines? Do oh, I have two wines. Yeah, so I can trade away a spare wines if anybody wanted it. Seleucia. Beautiful, beautiful Seleucia. I like looking at the map. It's such a, a fucking mess. I'm like a, a, a sore, an open wound on the Western Mediterranean. So when does the war start? Okay. Um, oh, I guess I should have probably claimed up here. Again, if I'm defending, I want to be defending on the hills. You know, let's bring this up. If we're going to have a random-ass defender somewhere, might as well be in the city with no walls that's vulnerable. God, I hate how in scenarios like this, they, they're really aggressive about being historically accurate in terms of, like, Rome was not technically a coastal city, even though it had a port city. Like, just, it was on the river... Po or Tibbs or something, I don't know. Uh, and it, if you weren't able to access the sea from there, you could just go down to like a, a, a nearby port. But they're very aggressive. Nope, no coastal cities for Rome. Okay. Um... Oh, wow, they actually gave him a shovel. They gave the Legion a shovel t to do this animation. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This city is actually technically, yeah, it's... Oh, my God. Um. Wow, aqueducts are expensive. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, uh, that's enough. Oh, if I'm not really tacking, I can probably just sell my library. Not like I'm going for cultural victory or anything like that. Do any of these cities that existed at the start of the game have... You know. Okay, there's a lot of these guys running around, but at least this is the one city that's actually defended. Let's take a look. Is Are they building just Dinian's leadership? Uh, it's going to show me the palace screen, isn't it? Oh, Scourge of God. I forgot that that existed. Uh... Crap, Babylon and Constantinople. Hmm, Babylon's actually a decent city. Constantinople is... That's a city, all right. Let's see what Scourge of God does. Oh, it gives us... Tells us where their progress is on the tech tree. Okay, they are done their tech tree. <laughs> Leaders, unit capacity, one to four, three to four. That's not that bad. They suck with armies, so the only relevant thing is the, the unit per five. Yeah, it's the interesting thing about the scenario that there's, you're in a bad position Uh, but your ability to to get yourself out of that position are really limited. Is really limited. 
Uh, you can improve these tiles. Get over here. <laughs> you can improve the tiles to increase your production. You can plant the cities and you can hook luxuries, but that's about it. Like these cities will always be these cities. Because of your government, you're always going to have unit support problems. Yeah, it'd be not like 10 unit support for the entire game, more or less. Remarkably consistent. Oh yeah, we can we don't need to do, do anything about that. Uh we can just tech. We haven't had a a great army. Should probably join stuff into Rome to be honest. I am impressed like a lot of the conquests are really not thought out in terms of like what's at the end of the tech tree like the stuff at the end of the tech tree should be things for closing out the game basically things that have an immediate effect uh but too often they put stuff that like the church i guess it's not awful if it's like the first thing you can build it's still n n pointless to build for the romans uh but it's not as insulting whereas putting at the end at the end of like mesopotamia or whatever is just oh my god Just baiting the player into being dumb. So yeah, if we can, if it gets us this wonder faster, I'll, I'll turn up the uh, science. Two turns, not bad. Yeah, just so we don't have to micro that later. The Visigoths, huh, have the same text as us. Can they just like not access the text at my part of the tech tree? I mean, the Sassanids are building the same wonder as me, so it can't be the case for them. Yeah, city's pretty decent with the the courthouse. And let's get some heavy cavalry out there. I don't know, like once we get like a stack of like twenty heavy cavalry, we can probably run over these guys. Look at this; they have no infrastructure. Ah, the migrants. Two movement points. They're going to put something here, aren't they, those fuckers? Yeah, I think we said we're okay losing these. Uh, and this. And I guess we'd hold the line here. I'll do that. Oh, God, where are my manners? I know why you guys are here. You guys are here for the custom sick-ass soundtrack in the, the conquest scenarios. So I'll make sure that's turned on. Okay, I hear the worker moves at least. <laughs> nope, that's just the regular Ancient Era soundtrack. <laughs> okay, let's go for walls. Okay, that's more yeah let's get this to the front line because I'm starting to feel a little nervous I, I realize it's a very real possibility that I, I'm gonna get Justinian's leadership uh, but then I'm gonna lose the next two wonders in a, in a chain I know Justinian's wor leadership is just straight up a good wonder to have uh, so I'm not going to complain about that. 
uh, I'll complain about it. I won't complain about what I what I chose to do though. Ah, okay, yeah. That's good. I guess a relevant factor might be relative army strength. If I'm strong to them, yeah, that's why they're not attacking me. Okay, that might change soon. So that suggests that I should start pumping out units. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll go for Aqueduct there, just because... Yeah, they're going for the Border Expand. Ah, oh, god, that is like a 50... It's like 60-40 in my favor. Why can't I be so lucky? Oh, I just you barber you fools, don't you realize the the uh the imminent threat on Roma's borders destroying the walls. Okay. Let's uh we got this money to throw around. I don't see what else we're gonna spend it on. And I am worried that they will declare war on me soon. Because we're now average. As soon as they go, we go to weak, then it's up for... Like, they got units around me, so... I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh, a Roman garrison. That's not needed. Yeah, I'd just do that. So, yeah, that doesn't actually make it any faster. At least we get all this gold here, though. Uh, and once we get a hospital, we're just going to join all these guys. Uh, I can buy a hospital, actually. Almost 40 turns in, we're almost done our legionaries. <laughs> okay, at least our, our shields don't get wasted now if we uh, we lose the wonder. Still assassinates. I guess building more cities only makes it more expensive to buy luxuries. God, I should have just gone for the... It's 150 turns. This is like not a, it's not a sprint. This is a marathon, right? God, okay. We're doing it. Fuck it. Where's our boat? Did I automate these guys? Why are they here? Yeah. Still going well. Haven't lost it just yet. I still have hope. Is the please tell me there's like a third wonder? Because there's two big pre built no, there's not a third wonder. There's two big big pre builds out of Persia and out of Constantinople. 
I think I'm only going to get the one. It's fine, though. Hmm. Oh, he actually doesn't have... Cr oh, he loses his pre-build if we finish, or if the Byzantines finish. That's not a good thing, though. <laughs> I mean, at least if the Byzantines finished, I would be guaranteed the this wonder. Uh, this one sucks, actually. This one's literally just a golden age. This one's fantastic. Oh my god, are they... Oh, what do I need for... Oh, I don't have the tech for the drama. Okay, um, no, no, no migrants there. I should probably... Yeah, let's put one right here. Or on the river, I guess. Huh, there's actually a mine here, but not in any of the useless, useful places. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I guess they get this part of France. Looks like we're going to get it. This is the big crucial moment of this game and we're succeeding I'm so proud of what we've done as a YouTube com community <laughs> god what was that quote from the, uh, the, the YouTube rewind of 2019 or something like that okay we, we have the ivory so I guess we're going for the gems or sort of the, the incense Byzantines aren't, are not building any cities that is not an interest of theirs. Western Rome is so much better than the Byzantines. Uh, just in terms of production potential, the Byzantines just don't have many good city spots near their capital. Like, this one's not even on a river. Oh, the cow is just out of reach, so they, they could put one right here, I guess. Thessalonica's good. Athens is decent. But yeah, I'll take Rome any day of the week. Yeah, we'll do that. This starved, and now it's going to... Oh, it's actually not going to disorder. Nice, Missoula actually grew. Good for it. Do we have, like, painfully slow workers or something like that? Or is chopping just very slow in this? No, it's the same speed. Although this one just finally finished. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. It's a, good, it's a good moment either way. It's probably even a funnier moment if they get it first. Oh, per oh my god, perfect. Beautiful. Fantastic. I can make some... Here, here's a trick. If you have barracks and you build Sun Tzu's Art of War, or in this case, a wonder with equivalent effect, you can just sell all your barrackses and you get your money. And there's the Cascade. Uh, they went into the next era. Please tell me they don't have Christianity. So they, they just lose the shields. They have to commit it to something else. And um, so they went for... I think they went for the good one. Yeah. Yeah, still, I can work with this.
We still get our golden age, which is the important part. I know what that golden age is going to do, but we have it. <laughs> it's nice and shiny. God, the border expand on all our crappy little cities would have been really good, though. Uh, I guess we should buy some temples. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's that's not that's significant gold. And let's look at our unit support situation. Yeah, we're still at this about the same, but we have more units. We have thirty garrisons. Wow. Hmm. Why aren't the the Romans building any settlers? I didn't like modify the scenarios to allow Western Rome to build settlers, did I? I've had this game installed for so long that I might have done it like five years ago or something. No, nope. can build settlers. Do the Sassanids actually get access to migrants? No, oh, they do. Yeah, they can build settlers. They're just choosing not to. Oh, they, they built this. They built that. Yeah, okay. It's just not top priority for them, I guess. Six turns. Uh, zero percent science, not in the golden age. Just a load of unhappy cities. Okay, the one nice thing here is I can build a lot of heavy cavalry, cavalry in a hurry if I need to. Because I got the the barracks everywhere, so they'll be veterans. I actually don't have road access here. That's uh, an oopsie. As the parents like to say. Hmm. Oh, no. Ter temples? Oh, I'm religious, so temples are cheap. Okay. I was looking at religious as a trade, and I was like, that's garbage. I'm never going to switch governments. And temples suck, but I, I do need the border expand in a lot of these cities, so it's worth, it's good to have. Now, this is starting to be a problem. I figured these were migrants, but no, they're just raiders for the sake of being raiders. I need to keep track of these guys too, because if they like slip them to Spain, um, if I just lose them and then they show up unannounced, that will cause me problems. I might even consider like a declaration of war here to clean clean these guys up. Oh yeah, we need to be roaded out here. Okay, okay. Legio. Legio Urbana. We're keeping an eye on you. You're, uh, you might cause some problems if, again, if the barbarians find you. Still sailing. Maybe I should have put two workers in there. I definitely should have. I, I didn't, but I should have. Maybe I really should have, though. That's what's up for debate. <laughs> okay. The science doesn't matter anymore. Hmm. 
So I'm actually playing, paying the same in unit support as I was before. All of the improvement has come from... Just from my cities, my city, like me getting more cities and my cities getting better. So the development efforts here have definitely paid off. Still no migrants. Yeah, I guess I'll do a... Oh, if I... Two warlords, okay. Damn. Well, we'll do that, and then we'll switch back. Yeah, I think a gang war against the, uh, the Germans. I could pick off a few cities, and I'd be able to clean these guys out of my land. So I think that'd be very good for me. I will take your two gold. Well, pay attention to these warlords, though. Okay, it's, the, it's a size seven city. I guess I might accidentally flip some of these French cities, in which case uh, that's very bad for the French because it counts as them losing a city. C crap, what? God damn. Ah, that ruins things. That's no fun. Come on. How dare you, Eastern Rome? Okay, what I was going to do is I'd be like, okay, when I finish this wonder, I get a golden age, and the second part of this video will be the Roman golden age. But I guess the Romans have taken that away from me. Curse you, Rome. You're ruining Rome. Uh, at least we get this hospital. And we have a barracks in every city. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, I think here's a good part to end part one, or a good time to end part one. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'll, ooh. Hmm. I'm going to save this as not Fall of Rome. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.